Hey everyone, it's Andy with Reverb, and you know Black Friday is just around the corner, so we're celebrating with another batch of blacked out pedals. These are limited edition pedals from some of our favorite builders, and they're all brand new circuits, which I can't wait to share with you. So let's get into it. Fresh from Earthquaker Devices is their latest creation from Akron, Ohio, a discrete transistor-based distortion called Zor. Dynamics is the name of the game here, with anything from light boost to fuzz-like distortion that can be tailored to your taste with a passive three-band EQ. Plus the weight knob governs the low end going into the circuit, determining whether your guitar, bass, or synth is tight or fuzzy. Let's just start with everything at noon and see where we can take it with the gain and the three band EQ. Then last we'll adjust that weight control which is going to just change the whole response of the pedal because we're letting more low end through. So it's just a nice uh, classic crunch tone and we could increase the gain and get a bit more aggression out of it without even touching anything else. And now let's check out that three band EQ with this high gain setting and see how all of these controls are very interactive. I'll start by increasing the mids and backing off on the treble. If we increase the bass here at this point, it's still very tight because the weight, if you remember, is the bass going into the circuit and we still only have that about halfway. So as you can tell, that three band EQ is very forgiving when you have the weight backed off. So that being said, let's increase it and get more into that uh, distortion or fuzz territory. <laughs>
Let's switch gears a bit and go to some single coils and also try out the pedal at 18 volts. So we're gonna get a lot more headroom, we're gonna get tighter bass, a wider range of treble, and it's just a whole different beast here. So I'm gonna start with uh, all the knobs at noon again and we'll see how far we can take it in either direction, both clean and dirty. You know, it doesn't hurt anything just to crank everything up, set your output volume where it's happy uh, interacting with your amp, and then just control all the gain with your guitar's volume knob. <laughs> JHS has brought a gem of a pedal to the Blacked Out series with their Oil Can Delay. Originally designed as a one-off for guitar legend Nels Klein, this offering from the Affordable 3 series leads players into the wacky world of 1960s electrostatic delay. The JHS Oil Can uses a short range of 100 to 330 milliseconds in the spirit of the original units, which achieved its sound using a motor-driven drum filled with oil and a crude recording head to produce both space and movement. All right, so let's just start off with the fastest modulation speed, which is also the fastest delay time. I also have the mod switch in the plus position, so we're getting a fuller depth here. And it's really helpful if you want to use a slower delay time, you could back off on that depth and it just makes it a little bit less dizzying. <laughs> and feedback to really emphasize that uh, warbliness in the background. crank up the feedback here and it just kind of maintains a very a warm character it doesn't go over the top with the oscillation <laughs> And while we're getting slower here with the delay, let's just back off on the modulation, but also notice that the delay time still matches the speed of the modulation at slower settings. <laughs> Thank you. 
Expanding on their unique phase repetition effect is the Old Blood Noise Endeavor's BL-52. This blacked out phase repeater has a way of blending phaser, delay, and reverb in a way we've never seen. The clock time dials in short rooms with ever-changing modulation and longer times entering lo-fi gritty space with waves of multiple delay lines intertwining. The first thing I noticed about the phase repeater is that it's very unpredictable. Even with the feedback all the way down, you're going to hear some complex uh, multi-rhythmic repeats. And this just uh, turns into a lush soundscape when you slow down the delay time. So it seems to be a very interactive pedal. If you hit it harder, you're going to hear more of those uh, rhythmic repeats jump back out at you. If you do volume swells, it's a more gradual effect. And of course, this is all uh, changing with, you, uh, with the clock time and the feedback amount. a slower clock time, you also hear uh, it get more of a lo-fi character, so you're going to hear some extra grit in there, especially when you increase the mix.
brand new from Walrus Audio is the Meraki Stereo Analog Delay. This blacked out pedal uses eight Bucket Brigade devices to create a smooth, high quality repeat up to 1200 milliseconds, complete with parallel, series, and ping pong options for right and left delay lines. Each delay can be in sync using their own tap tempo division or completely independent. And it's all topped off with lush analog modulation with three waveforms to choose. Let's start off by checking out the tone of this all analog delay. I'll set left and right channels to be the same exact delay time, and then I'll change the tap division of one of them so you can really hear what's going on in the stereo space. Darker repeats. So parallel mode is exactly that, two independent delay lines, and you could really hear that when I increased each channel's individual feedback level. Now let's switch things up and change to a different tap division on one of the channels. Notice that they're still in sync and you could tap them and have that relationship remain the same. Let's jump into ping pong mode, and this one you can really hear the right and left channels interacting with each other. I'm going to set one to eighth and one to quarter note. So you probably heard a little bit of modulation towards the end there, and the mod knob is actually the depth. If you want the speed, just hold down the bypass and adjust that same knob.
Line 6 has joined the Blacked Out series with a limited edition DL4 Mark II. Swapping out green for black, this powerful delay emulator is the same as their epic second generation model that you waited 23 years for. It offers 30 total delay effects with 15 Mark II modes from the HX family. This blacked out DL4 Mark II definitely brings a new vibe and you could capture that with two looper modes up to 240 seconds, an XLR input for vocal processing, plus expression, external switching, and MIDI control. Here's Adriatic, which has a very watery sound when you tweak the tweak and tweeze. It's almost like a rotary speaker simulator in the repeats of this echo. It's very lo-fi sounding. Here's one of my new favorite Mark II sounds, and that's multi-pass, and I have it set up with the tweak and tweeze to be a very slow filter effect. And with a little dirt courtesy of Zor, let's try out some harmonies. Uh, here we just have some octaves actually up and down. <laughs> And a little bit out of the box, as usual, is Death by Audio, and their blacked out offering is the Space Ensemble, the SE1. As you can tell, we have onboard chorus and reverb here, and if you crank up the chorus, it gets pretty wacky, especially when you increase the mix, and you have internal controls for uh, how crazy it goes with that extra bit of feedback and chorus depth, so you can keep it real subtle. Uh, because there is no on-off switch on this one. Uh, we also have a wide width of reverb here. Wide depth, I should say. So, lots of trails here. And don't forget about your guitar pedals because this one is made to kind of open the door of sonic exploration by using your guitar effects because it has a built-in effects loop. And I just happen to have 
the Zor, and you could get crazy with it. You could put anything in there, envelope filters, phasers. It gets crazy. Death by Audio also offer a back plate where you could mount this pedal to your mic stand. So if you want to manipulate the pedal, uh, you don't have to have it on the ground. And of course, you could have all your effects still on the floor and uh, kick them in and out of that effects loop. Now let's try something with a little bit of guitar in the background, and I think I could get through this demo. Uh, I can't really sing, so let's just give it a go. Space. I'm looking for a place. I'm in space. I'm looking for a place. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Looking for a place. To play with my strangers Looking for a place To play with my strangers Thank you. Well, I even think I blacked out there for a minute. Be sure to check out these limited edition pedals exclusively on the Blacked Out Reverb Shop. Thanks for watching, it's been a lot of fun, and I'll see you next time.